Right, what is going on guys and welcome back to Magic Bomb. So, we need to make all of those things I said in the last book, uh, the last part, sorry. Uh, all of these patterns and stencil tables and part crafters pattern chest. So we're going to need a bunch of wood. And we're also going to need a spare crafting table, a spare chest, a log. And that's about it. So, let's make a few of those patterns. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, split these. Boom. Right. One of them was just with a, a wooden plank like that, stencil table. And we should get, yeah, there we go. We get our second book of materials and you just showing you all of the different materials and how to make all of the tools and stuff. I've already played this, so I kind of know what I'm doing with these things to a certain extent to a sort of beginner level so yeah we don't need that right now we're still working on this first book so let's make the next one which was well we're gonna need a, a spare chest and a spare crafting table so let's do the log one part builder let's do the crafting table one uh, tool station uh, chest one so we can store all of our patterns the pattern chest and I think that's it for the uh, thingies the tables yeah that's it for now anyway until we need to make a tool forge uh, let's also let's break let's turn our crafting table let's make it look a bit more stylish shall we so just put that in our Crafting recipe there, and we get a little crafting station. Let's put that there. Uh, stencil table, tool station, and part builder. And we'll put our pattern chest over here somewhere. Just put it there. Now we're going to need a few more patterns to get started. Just two will do, I think, for now. Oh, messed up there. Right, two blank patterns. Right, let's go into our Actually, we're going to need one more so that we can make an axe and then another one for a shovel, actually. So let's just turn these all into planks. One more. All right, we're good. All right. To get your tools, we're going to need to make patterns for the different parts. So this is Tinker's Construct, and this is how to do it, basically. So we're going to need a tool rod pattern. For these first start on t starter tools, I'm going to make a pickaxe, an axe, and a shovel. We can't actually make a sword until we get to uh, a metal grade level, so our axe is going to be our main attacking weapon. So we're going to need a pickaxe head as well. Uh, we're going to need more than I thought, actually. We're going to need a binding as well, tool binding. That's what we need for our pickaxe. Actually, no, we should be good now. We need an axe head and a shovel head now. Because you don't need binding for you don't need binding for axes or shovels. Alright, let's get a shovel head back one. Shovel head, right, we should be good. We might need a bit more wood. We've got flint, right, so let's go to our part builder. That's what we need. I should have switched these round, but I'll do that next time. Let's make our first tool, a flint axe head. Oh, wrong way round. That goes there. The material goes there, one flint gives you one flint axe head. Let's make uh, three tool rods while we're here. So three sticks will give us three tool rods. Wooden tool rods, anyway. Uh, pickaxe head, we're going to need that, one of those. Notice these are all flint as well, uh, and a shovel one. And we'll probably need wood binding as well. So use our last stick for wooden binding. Now we should be good to go and make our first three tools. So go to the tool station. And on this left little GUI is where you uh, build your parts, basically. So for a pickaxe, you need a pickaxe head, a tool rod, and a binding. So let's put those in. A wooden binding. And these can all be different grade materials. You can also just upgrade it by going to this little hammer bit, putting it there, and say I wanted to put upgrade it to metal, I'll put a few metal bars here and it should upgrade it. So let's make our next tool flint shovel. 
There we go. And flint axe. Now these, when these break, they shouldn't actually disappear. They should just break and you, uh, they basically just won't be able to mine anymore until you repair them, which we'll, we'll need our flint for that. So we are good to get started. I could, whoa, what is going on here? Um, I don't know why I've got this weird, this weird chunk outline thing. Oh, F9, that's why. It's because my FPS overlay button is also F9. There we go. Now it's gone. Alright, sorry about that. Let's get a little bit more food in us. We're going to have to kill a few of these sheepies for a bed, actually, so that we can get rid of night time, because night time is bad. And, yeah, we also get mutton from killing these sheepies. Let's get a couple more. So that we've got enough wool. We've got three wool. Let's kill this one. Why not? A uh, bit more food. Because we're going to need it. Always need food in Magic Farm. This is a fruit tree. So we're not going to cut that down. Those are rubber trees. You can tell by this different colored thing. And it's also got the... Uh, brings the name up on the... Right on the top in the middle. I think this is a cherry tree. No, it's Sakura. Hmm. Strange. We don't need any of that. We are going to grab some normal wood here. And yeah, what what else do we need to do? We need to get some clay for a bucket. Uh, lots of stuff. And then dig out, dig out enough room for our base, I guess. And coal. We're going to need coal. <laughs> so many things to do. Right. Is that enough wood for now? It should be... All right, that's a stack. Let's get a few more logs just in case we don't find any coal. There's a whole bunch of mobs around on the minimap, so there's probably a nice cave below me. Uh, what we got? There's some coal, definitely. Let's just eat quickly before we go in. And there, there's a bunch of ore, but I'm not going to be able to get it because the uh, the material grades are very, very specific. Like, I'm not going to get iron. For another few levels. I think I can get aluminium, coal and copper with a flint pickaxe. It's the only three. And stone obviously. are the only things I can get. The only things I can mine anyway. I could get a creeper or something to blow a hole. I hear a skeleton. And I see some crazy green eyed skeleton on the minimap running around. I don't want to run into that guy. I have no armor whatsoever. Let's get a little bit more coal and then we'll, oh, water. Let's go. See what's down here. Dead end. Well, it goes up, but I don't think I want to explore much further. Let's make some. Let's make some torches so it's not so dark. Uh, how many? Five lots that'll do. Hopefully we won't get as many things spawning around in here. Alright, let's get a bit more coal. And yeah, I would usually cut out all the mining and stuff in a Minecraft episode, but as there's so many crazy mobs and anything could happen at any time. And also if I went into a, if I went further into this cave, there would be tons and tons of spawners and stuff, but... Which is fun, which is great, but we're not ready for that yet. We, we have got no armor and no sword. <laughs> we can take out the odd creeper or the odd zombie, but anything, anything like any of the special mobs are just gonna completely destroy us. We're gonna need a load of sand, gravel, and clay. Not right now, but we will need it eventually to get started with the smeltery, the Tinker's Construct smeltery, so we can make metal tools. So we might as well gather stuff while we can. This cotton we can turn into string, which is nice. And yeah, might need a bit more food before we jump in there and hunker down. 
What have we got? Three. Meh. We could. We should be all right. I guess I want to see whose gravestone this is and whether it's got anything. Oh, a bone and some rotten flesh. That must have been a zombie then. Let's kill this slime. Why not? Whoa! Okay, that's uh, that's one of the boss mobs. There we go. <laughs> Ghastly, poisonous. Whoa! Oh god, we're dead. We are so dead right now. Half a heart. He's like poisonous. <laughs> Ghastly means he shoots fireballs. Pretty sure there was some poison on there. But yeah. That's how you... Uh... Oh, there we go. Ghastly, poisonous, bulwark, berserk, darkness, regen. That's all the different effects he's got on him. Oh god, zombies are coming. We need to get inside. Let's just use sand to block this hole up for now. Put the wood on my bar. There we go. Right, we're good. We've got some torches to light this place up. Oh, no more darkness. Beautiful. You can actually see what these look like. And yeah, that's how you can tell what the boss mobs look like, apart from them shooting fireballs and stuff. They've uh, got all these weird particle effects, so it's best to stay away from them until you're actually like pretty geared up, until you've got some armor and stuff to protect yourself, not just a flint axe. Um... Let's put some of this stuff away. We're going to need another chest. We're going to need a lot more chests, actually. But for now, I should probably dig out a nice little area for us to get started. And uh, put all these patterns away, actually. I don't need them. Let's get some more chests going. Why do I do that? Let's just do that. One, two, three, four. That should do... Um, that's going to be our foodie, seedy chest sort of thing. And this will just be like materials and junk, so let's, for now anyway, we're going to need a whole storage room by the end of the, <laughs> probably more, multiple storage rooms by the end of this thing. Um, uh, that's, yeah, that's good for now. Actually, we need to make a bed, don't we? Yeah, why am I hiding away? I can just make a bed and sleep this night away. Right. Chuck that wool and clay away, actually. And set our spawn. And I'm probably gonna... I'm gonna dig a bit more of this out, and I will be right back, I guess. Alright, guys, we are back. I've cleared a nice little space out. And it's, uh, it's time to grab these ores. I think I can get this aluminium, yep. We can get aluminium and copper at this level. So let's fill that. Come on, jump out. Fill that in. And this is a nice amount of copper up here. Hopefully that poisonous spider, I think it's poisonous, that's above me doesn't fall in. Well, there's a nice amount of copper up here, actually. Right, let's... Fill that back in so it doesn't look so ugly. Right, get a bit more. And we're gonna need to gonna need to go searching for some some gravel, sand, and clay, as I said. I think I've got a nice amount of gravel. We're probably gonna need like two stacks of each, I think, to get a uh, get enough grout to make a decent sized smeltery. And then we can uh, start cooking up this copper, get tools and get farming. Now, not a lot of people, well, I've, I've watched quite a few people playing Magic Farm. I've not seen too many get this, uh, get to the farming level quite quickly. This, But this is the best way to do it, really. Just go for, uh, just get some berries to survive on and then go for the, the tool upgrades. Right, I should probably drop that, right. Gravel, sand, and uh, clay, was it, right? A couple of stacks as well. I shouldn't be running. Stupid spud, shouldn't be running. Right, 
I don't really care about the water looking not pretty or whatever. I just need to gather this stuff as fast as I can, really. Why are you jumping? I didn't jump. And yeah, I'll probably stay away from slimes after that little episode. Or that little encounter. That was not very nice. I'm I'm surprised he didn't kill me really. He got me right down to half a heart with poison as well. Alright, this is clay, right? Yep. Nice amount of clay. I should probably get a bit more wood while I'm here. As well, because I'm always low on that at the start of Magic Farm. And yeah, you can also get a uh, Harvest craft grapes and hops, there we go, from breaking vines like that, but they grow in a completely different way. They need uh, structures, iron bar structures for them to actually grow like, yeah, maybe we'll get into that a bit later on in the series. If we continue this series, that is, because, uh, yeah, if you guys aren't enjoying it, I probably won't continue it, so let me know if you like it. I definitely like playing it and once we once we've got some armor and some weapons we can be a bit more brave and go into the caves and yeah get destroyed and there's probably tons of weird dungeons and stuff that spawn around everywhere as I said there's, there's crazy amounts of items let's have a quick little flick through the items again loads of fish where are these fish from wow might have to have a look at Mary culture soon. I know there's pearls that spawn around. We can get these weird rings and stuff. I'm not too sure how useful they are until we get an enchanting table. Loads of open block stuff. Whoa. Loads of decorative stuff. Where's this uh, iguana tweak stuff? Cool. Yeah, let's have a quick look at the weapons and armor and stuff. And yeah, there's all, uh, wait, where are those machines I saw, yeah. There's loads of applied energistics and forestry and stuff like that. So we can get into machinery and stuff eventually. And I shouldn't have just stood there looking at stuff while it was getting dark. Alright, let's go and sleep quickly. Make it daytime. I've already got a stack of clay, really? Wow. Let's just do that. Whoa, loads of clay. Uh, quite a bit of sand. Right, more sand. A little bit more clay. And some oh, need to sleep, don't I? And a bunch more gravel. And we should be good to start cooking up the grout. And then in the next episode, we'll start making uh, start making the smeltery and cooking up the copper and stuff. Plus we'll need to make some aluminum brass and get some ingot casts. That is one, when I first started, that is one bit that really just stumped me. Like I couldn't understand what was going on. Oh, no. Is he still there? He's still there. Oh my god. I need to, <laughs> I need to quit and let this guy despawn. God, he's going to mess me up if I go anywhere near him. Alright. Sand. Let's get some of that. And yeah, there is a uh, a gravestones mod where when you die, all your stuff should get uh, put into a little gravestone where you can just come along any time and break it it's so that your stuff doesn't despawn. But quite a lot of the time, that doesn't actually work. And yeah, for various reasons, I'm not too sure why, but it happens quite a lot. Where your stuff just gets strewn across the floor as usual minecraft and yeah that's not very nice <laughs> especially when there's like so many mob mobs that do fire damage and explosions and stuff like that so right more sand and gravel i need to find some gravel don't i i might cut this bit out i'm not too sure Probably leave it in just in case anything exciting happens. I doubt it will, but it's something that has to be done in the magic farm. Oh, there's our shovel broken. 
We need to repair that quickly. How many flint is this? Probably going to take a few flint, isn't it? Two, that will do. What are we doing for sand? We've got enough sand for now, I think. I'd like to make my smeltery like two blocks high. If you uh, if you know what I mean, if you've played something with Tinker's Constructing before. I don't know, it just, just feels better, looks better to have one that's too high as opposed to one high and you have to put the uh, casting basin in the floor. Just prefer it. Not to be like that. We need to eat. And get some gravel. We need a cave for gravel, don't we? Right. Enderman. Don't want to look at him. Oh, don't want to look at him. Alright, swimming is bad, I know, but it's got to be done. Hopefully we can uh, can find some waders or something, and we can be able to sprint while we swim, get us through the water a lot faster. And yeah, as I said, sprinting and jumping, really bad. I do a lot of it because I'm quite used to magic farm, and I know... Like if I if I knew I was gonna die, like I didn't have enough food, I would not do it. But I should be okay. A little bit of sprinting every now and then. Can always go looking for more food. Or killing animals. I've got a bunch of cows around by the uh, around by the base. Loads of blueberries around here. Give me that food. Right, ooh. Uh-oh. That's a silver... S right, all of those cobblestone blocks are silverfish, and there is a silverfish spawner in there. That is the, right in the middle of it. That is bad news. There's an arrow spawner there. That is also bad news. All right, let's go... Uh, if I go down there, that silver spish, silver spish, the silver fish spawn is probably going to activate, and we're going to be in big trouble. So I'm going to avoid this place. Go look for some gravel elsewhere. That looks like gravel, but it's like gravel ore stuff. Let me just check. Is this going to spawn silver fish? Yep. There we go. And if, as soon as I hit one, he's going to call his others, and it's pretty much guaranteed one of them is going to be some crazy mob with some weird effects on him. This is bamboo. Can I just break it? Can. Not too sure what it's used for, but get some of that. That looks like not very nice water to me. Some strange totem pole thingy. Is there? Is there chests under here? I thought there might have been chests under these ones. Mm, obviously not. Is that gravel or gravel ore? That's just normal gravel. Right, let's grab that while we can. There's some salt. Once we start, once we've got some food making tools, then I'll start grabbing all the salt and different stuff. But before we do that, we need to get metal and get some crops growing. But yeah, this is good. We can grab a whole bunch of gravel here. Let's not be underwater, because that would take ages. Alright, how much have we got? Let's make sure we don't drown. 55, right, yeah, we're good, right. Let's go back. Probably end up sprinting because, yep, that's how I do. Ooh, gravestone. Who died? Another zombie, okay. Ravine as well. So, oh, look, spawner. See how many spawners we can see. Oh, we can only see one. But 
there's probably like creeper spawners often spawn under like a block beneath the ground so that you can't see them but they still spawn stuff around so we could try and jump in there and get that chest but it'll probably end in instant death uh, it's probably a poisonous spider spawner or something like that so let's head back to the base and uh, yeah start cooking up this grout I'll probably end this episode I'm sorry it's not been too exciting. Maybe we could uh could just YOLO it just to make this end the end of this episode a bit more exciting. How much blocks have we got to get out? Uh fifty two cobblestone. That should be good for us to get out of there, you know. Alright, let's do it. It's daytime, so hopefully not many of them spawn. Let's make sure we jump into this water. Oh, yep, yeah, there's another spawner there. Right, make sure we've got a weapon close to these blocks that we're going to use. Right, let's go for it. YOLO! <laughs> oh. Come on. Let's get up there. Right, it's a zombie spawner. And it's not spawning anything because it's daytime. Lucky for us. We've got some old cheaty cheaty iron ingots. I probably won't use them because, uh, yeah, we're not at that stage where we should have iron yet, so feels a bit cheaty if we use it. I could go destroy that other spawner over there, but meh, it's probably going to take ages and lose a whole bunch of food from it, so let's just get out of there. But yeah, spawners in Magic Farm, freaking everywhere, man. There's a, there's a zombie spawner in that wall. I can hear tons of them. Well, see, I can hear a few of them, but I can see a bunch on the on the mini map. Maybe it's just a little cave. Also, a green skeleton, which is a poisonous skeleton. A whole bunch of silverwood trees here, which is thorncraft stuff. I'm not too sure. If I'll get into that, I've never really tried getting into that. It's, oh, it's really complex. But it's pretty cool. And who knows, if this series goes on long enough, then I will probably end up getting into it. Oh, let's eat. Because uh, we don't want to end up dying. I could probably eat these grapes, actually. Do they turn into... Turn into grape seeds. Hmm, strange. Let's just eat them. Can always get more later when I've got inventory space for them. And let's just sprint over back to our house because I can. Got a bunch of food. We can get these on the way. And yeah, hopefully the next episode we'll get this smeltery going and we can start farming for stuff. I should, uh, should also make a clay bucket while I'm here. I'll show you that. Let's go a little clay bucket there. Unfired clay bucket. So we need to need to cook it up in the furnace. So let's stick that in there. Might as well use these. Get them out of our inventory. Uh, we should probably cook up the mutton. As to not waste any coal. And now we've got a fired clay bucket. We can... You can get lava with this, but it's only a one-time use with lava. It's, uh, I think it's unlimited use with water, which is pretty sweet. So I'm going to block, block up my little base here so nothing can get to me. And start cooking. Well, let's make the grout first. I've got a whole bunch of it in here. Where's gravel? Sand? Right. And yeah, the crafting table does hold your... Hold your items now, which is cool. Or, I say now, in this mod pack. And there's two stacks of grout, because it makes two for every uh, one thing you put in there. And that should be enough. Got loads and loads and loads of grout. And let's start cooking it up, and I shall see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.